in today's video i'm gonna be doing a little comparison not that much just to see um what the midnight solar or the classic 150 um in a comparison with the uh, victron mppt 150 45 amps with the algorithm so this is the classic 150 and this is fairly new and this 2019 and i'm gonna do the test mind you um this test is gonna be conducted with the same um, solar panel the same orientation and let's see the same specification stay tuned there you go As you can see, this is the power, the Midnight Classic 150 from Midnight Solar. That's what it's given us. And you can see here, this is a 3 amps. So let's go back here. I can see my finger. Okay. You see it uh, drops the voltage to 51.9. Okay, there we go. Um, if you can see here, so it's bringing two amps from the panels, and the open circuit is a eighty-six point two volt, and it's putting back three point one amps back to the battery. So let's take a look into the uh, Victron Energy how it converts the same panels and specifications of this um, test and with the algorithm towards or in conjunction to charging the same battery bank everything we do here is the same specification and um, we do not uh, a clear test we are not here in a favor of any of the individual i can just leave that with you to make the um, the uh, changes here or whatever you think but this battery here is uh, 24 volt and the Victron one is gonna be on a 12 volt in today's video I just want to make a small comparison not deeply we're trying to study how everything works with the Victron system and the midnight solar or the midnight solar and classic how they work in conjunction to the MPPT algorithm or MPPT see the Victron is bringing 100 watt which the VOC is uh, you can see 81.5 81.6 and 1.2 amps coming out from the panel so this is actually is the power that is going out to the battery right now 96.4 watt and the batteries are sitting at 15.96 so we bring in six point okay six amps back to the batteries so this is the um um the reality show right here with the victron equipment in comparison with uh midnight solar let's see so currently we went back to 97.7 watt coming out from the solar see little lines there there's the sun right here so stay tuned like and subscribe thanks for watching love you guys all now we're conducting a second test putting the panels in parallel since we have two panels out there that we're doing the test so we drop the voltage from that higher voc and you can see the volt open circuit now is 41.6 and we 
did a parallel connection and see this is what is coming in from the panels is a 3.9 amps 8 9 amps and we pushing back 4.5 to the battery this is a 24 volts battery configuration here and we're gonna take it back to um, we're gonna take it back to um, the 12 volt uh, configuration and see the same uh, wiring of the panels the same uh, solar panels and um, and the same wiring from the panel so we just uh, did a parallel uh, connection so now you s you saw the first test was below the hundred around the 90 something ish number and now we're gonna do the same thing now we parallel them the the watts came up and the amps the amps supposed to increase while the voltage drops but in this case you see both of them gain from each side the amps and the volt and the uh, and the watt it's 144 now so let's go check out the midnight uh sorry the victron energy what is gonna show us stay tuned Now we're back into the Victron Smart Solar Charge Controller MPPT 15045. So we're done with the test with the um, the classic, which is um, 150 um, 96 amps charge controller, and this is the 15045 watt 45 amps charge controller. So right now, if you're looking at we bring in a 154, I suppose, or I believe was, with the classic was 144, 144 around ish, 44 ish. So this is what the performance is on a 12 volt. And the test we just did is on a 24 volt. The same panel, the same configuration, the same orientation on the panels. And this is just on a, um, low light or medium light um, um, ambient out there the UV so we didn't try to do any changes or any monkeying around here you can see what is going back to the batteries charging the batteries uh, 152 and um, So the batteries are sitting at 16.3 volt, 9.4 amps. <clears throat> Excuse me. So do you do the math? If you divide this number, 9.4 compared to the uh, classic 150 of the midnight solar, and you will know exactly if there is a winner on this thing on 1224 divide 9.4 divided by two that's for the 24 volt that's what the classic was doing and here is for the 12 volt so we multiply what we have on the classic times two that gives you whatever we're looking at right now so the battery is 16 16.0 which um, is considered going to our um, 12 volt charge is getting there so this is the watt coming from the panels as I speak you see charging a little dots that's the solar panels and it tells you this thing is already uh, linked with the app so this is a cool thing I can use the meter right here to see or I can go through the app to watch this as well so you see that's the VOC from the panels so compare the VOC on the classic, as I said earlier, you will see what I'm trying to say here. These are just comparison. And this is, you can still see the panels indicating here, we're still on a bulk charge, and this bringing 3.9 amps from the panels. It's converting it now to the output. So we have 53.3 watts 
coming to the batteries. All right, we're sitting at 16.2. Nine point one amps to the battery, and this is what it is. Okay, so the looks is different from the um, the classic, but they're all designed from due to different people. This is uh, design. Um, this is uh, technology from the Netherlands, and the uh, classic is the. American, North America uh, technology. All right, so I just got to give you something to think about. Uh, something what you're going to be seeing on a 1224. Uh, you can just do a, um, a winner on a 1224. It depends what your preference are. So if you decide to go a 12 volt system, you bring a lot of amps and the voltage is low. And what you're thinking is uh, you have to increase your wires coming from the solar panels and you have a giant cables coming from the um, um, to the batteries because you bring in a lot of amps so if we would have used the 45 amps um, um, power yeah but remember what we're dealing with here it's just a test and it's your preference whatever or discretion what you want to do these are all great machines stay tuned like I mentioned, these are all great machines. It depends uh, what your preference are and how much you want to spend. Uh, quality, but um, more of uh, technology, uh, which is a Bluetooth capability for the Victron. This is a standalone, but you can use another program that is called the, um, the local app, which you can able to see on your computer. And you can able to network that as well while you're out there anywhere in the world if you connect it to the internet so this is a big bulky machine compared to uh the victron the victron is huge as well but now we're doing here the conversion you see on the 12 volt and with the 24 volts look at the numbers look at the amps look at the watts and look at the voltage coming in 37.9 and look at the the um the 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 power or the which is the um the current sorry which is going back to the batteries and look at the voc for the 1.6 so look at trying to do the comparison which um of the charge controllers uh, manage the uh mppt algorithm better or which of the charge controllers um, really operates to your liking so I'm just showing you to do a test here so that you can able to see if you don't happen to have any of these machines so I'm doing it for you now like and subscribe JW Solo USA thanks for watching this is the midnight classic 150 can carry handle up to 196 amps respectively and 150 volt input Okay, from the panels. Thanks. And stay tuned for more to come, for more tests on these devices. These are 24-volt system. Okay, bye for now.